It's a quick video folks because I forgot to bring the lead that attaches to the battery charger so this will be very short but we've been um, at the Wood Spring Priory um, I forgot Priory visits going back 15-20 years here uh, I still find it a very a sanctuary, a refuge for me um, when I'm feeling a bit delicate in the mind uh, when I'm worried about other people um, family, friends and whatever you know I um, I come here and it helps me when I'm feeling a bit quaky which means my stomach is rum it's not rumbling not like that you know fluttering it's you know like that it's a priory i've been coming i found this place all those years ago and i've been coming here since i'm going to go through that gate actually to get some i usually go through that one but i'm going through here i videoed it not that long ago by the way it's videoed a lot I just needed to come here today and touch the wall in a minute and uh, I doubt if it's open and just go in the orchard just take some deep breaths really see there's some fruit there um, I don't know if it's open sometimes you can't tell it might look closed can't see any stinging that was up against we'll try it and then we just walk around this beautiful orchard that's been here for hundreds of years probably this big mound here is what was once a part of a much bigger priory by the way but that's all been said before I'm just going to turn off some very short video stuff because I haven't brought the lead to the charger right folks there are cows over there They're still with us. There could be a split herd, by the way, as well. Could be a split herd. And people who don't know me think, why are you so worried by cows? Well, I would say for like 66 years of my life, I wasn't. And then after a successive events of being chased literally and you know in a not a good way and just managing to get away over barbed wire fences and stuff with roaring cows stamping feet I th and nearly surrounded me I said I don't ever hardly ever take a rest they've got to be that sort of distance Right, they've got to be that sort of distance so they can still move fast, believe me. They could catch me up easily if they wanted to. And there could be another herd. They do like that area because there's a bit of a pond there. A bit of an area where they can drink. If not, they have to come up here. Um, just down there somewhere there is a... Or just by that tree there, there's a watering. Um, bucket thing, you know, I don't know, sink um, device and there's one up the top of the hill as well but they do tend to keep them in one side or the other and I've been lucky um, all my walks this summer not to have actually walked straight into them because like, like I said, when you've been chased people might say, oh, cows might not. they will, you can't risk it you know, so I don't. Now there's the priory down there where I was earlier. I was down there not long ago. Walking in the orchard. There's some sheep in the field there. I walked up the road up there, a long bridle path to the beach. And I'm basically going round this way, up on this ridge where you can see stuff. <laughs> It's quite a nice ridge, this one. Crook's Peak, right there. Robarrow 
and Dobry Warren Hillfort. These are all places I, I, I walk and wander. Cadbury Hillfort over there. Poets Hill and Corner over there, which for Tennyson's got a cottage, and which I am going to visit. Um, I had thought about doing it today, but it would be packed with people. So I'm going to do, I'd mainly do my wanders. I do them in the week, really, when it's quieter. Because you do get a lot of people out. And, um... I just walk different parts. When I'm up here, I will take a different route each time. Um... It looks like there's someone on a bike or something. They're moving quite fast down there. Beautiful Somerset, by the way. Just the beauty of this place will snap me out of a lot of uh, unhappiness. Uh, especially when I'm worried about a person. So here we are, a place we know very well. Where we wander a lot. I guess there's not much battery. We've got, um, right in the distance, we've got Flat Home. I can, as I've said thousands of times, I've been on there. And if we go over a bit, over and over, just a bit more, we come to Steep Home. Somewhere there, there it is. When I found this place, when I found this place, Even. In 2007, I think I started coming here. When I found this place, I knew immediately this was going to be a place of reflection. And, um, and it has, and it's helped me through some terrible mental torture. Um, and I'm not going into all that either, and that's not all tied up with relationships and love and all that. No, it's just situations um, that uh, changed my life. I'm physically healthy. I've got a good pass on that. Um, and I keep walking because that's what I've been told to do. Keep walking. I'm just going up here a bit. There is somebody on one of those electric bikes could be the farmer, maybe it's a quick way for him to survey the scene. If we look over there at the, the sea, you've got some boats out there, look. Got some um, sailing boats. And you've got the bloke on a bike coming up from down there somewhere. <laughs> it looks like it's an electric bike. The farmer's got all sorts of things he comes out on. There's the Priory again. When it's on zoom, we turn it off. So we've got this beautiful panoramic view. We've got, in the distance, we've got the seven bridges. The, uh, the suspension bridges over there, which you, I can see with the naked eye. <coughs> and with a better camera, I used to be able to zoom straight into them. We've got Cleves in there, which I want to do. Where Tennyson's got a cottage. He he lived he he lived at, at, over there sometimes. And I wouldn't be surprised if Alice Mary Buckton didn't come over and wander that hill with him at times. Tennyson was a close friend of the Buckton family, by the way. And um, so when I met. When I met uh, my friend from Lincoln, at, by the, um, not planned, by the Tennyson statue, <laughs> it, was, it was just appropriate really, you know, for some reason. I ma managed to get a photo. She let me take a photo there. She's got a lovely smile and she's smiling. She's smiling, she's... Yeah. So this is my lovely little place where I come. An hour and a quarter of time. That's all it was.